Okay, so now that we have reason open, what we want to do is kind of set up our template real quick and basically just so that every time we open this, this thing works. Okay, we don't want to have to do any guesswork. We don't have to reset uh, settings each time. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to work uh, from left to right down here. So once you open our, your open rack, your empty rack, basically MIDI and player already be selected. Now on yours, the click track might not be selected. What you want to do is make sure that's lit up. What that allows you to do is have a metronome in place. So let's listen to it. The metronome, for those of you that know, it basically helps you stay in time and you play along with the metronome. And it'll be that click click sound that you hear. Okay, and that's basically how you play your bars and beat. And you can turn it off midway and turn it back on. This is the level that control it. It controls the click track. So if you want to turn the, the click, if you want the click louder or lower, you can basically control it right here. Uh, we keep it about 98, 100. Doesn't really matter. Whatever's comfortable for you and your uh, speakers. I can tell you, 100 is actually pretty loud, and you can hear it over any instrument you play. So it's pretty much a good setting. Uh, right here's your time signature. It depends on what um, you do your music in. For most of us, we're going to be doing music in 4/4, so there's no need to even ever change this. I've had to only change this probably once, and that's when I was using an old record, and it was actually in 3/4. But other than that, you really don't have to ever change this. Right here, the tempo. I feel that 98 is a pretty good tempo range. It's really up to you, depending on the style of music you do. You might want it slower for R&B, faster for techno, and house music if it's for hip-hop 98 96 and 98 is a really good range and let it differ from there different types of hip-hop that we're doing now it's like you're using slower tempers and tempos and different uh, measures but the tempo 98 is really good range and that's where I would keep it um, you have your stop play rewind fast forward record button right here you have the overdub or replace button what that allows you to do is when you play something one time and say you kind of play it wrong and you want to go over it again you are given two options you can either overdub which means you can just play a note on top of what you played already or you can replace it which means it'll delete whatever you did the first time and add the new notes on top I leave mine on overdub because I really want to replace you really don't have to worry about this because most of the time you just edit all this mini so it's not really crucial and you want to make sure that your loop is on the reason why you want your loop to be on is because these right here are your loop these are your markers these are your indicators as you can see it starts at the one and moves all the way over to 17 the way I have it set here and I use 17 basically it's actually 16 when you um when you're working on a verse or whatever your verse is usually going to be 16 uh, 16 beats so you kind of want to use you just want to set it out this just so you can work on a verse and you can always build on a chorus after you get the verse down pat some of you are the opposite some of you just like to do a uh, just a full you know just only work with eight bars you just take eight bars and you make a full chorus and then for the verse you just delete everything out however you work it's totally up to you I personally use 16 just work on the verse and then I actually like to add different uh, elements to the chorus and it helps me kind of sectionalize what I want to do and over here, all this is pretty much automatic, so you don't have to worry about this. This just gives you your, uh, your position. And this right here is your pattern shuffle. Pattern shuffle, you'll see it's on the read drum, and it also controls some of the features up here that we're going to get into in a minute. So the pattern shuffle, you really don't have to worry about, because uh, unless you're going to use it, you, don't, you won't know. And when you use it, you can play around with it. So now we're going to come up to the top. All, the, all these are deactivated. We'll get into these uh, as we start working and producing songs. But you just want to make sure your cursor is selected. And right here, you see this magnet. What this allows you to do is uh, actually uh, choose what you, how, basically how much you want to edit at one time. So, best way is just to give you an example. So, right now, I'm just going to open up something real quickly and use a harpsichord. Uh, doesn't really matter the instrument. Okay, so. Basically, right now, what I what I'm doing. Oh, and the reason and the reason what, how I got my screen stretched out. I'm not sure if I showed you guys that is using these arrows right here. This opens and closes everything, and this makes uh, the actual module. If you look at it, you'll watch it get the the width on it kind of get wider. And let me just play a note for you. So let me just. Alright, so as you see, those bars are really large, and we can make them smaller. It's kind of what you can see. Um, most of us aren't that blind, but for some of us who can't see or who just like to work with a larger template, 
you can adjust that right here and you can adjust the width of this I kinda like to keep my uh, 16 bars within reach actually I like to I want to zoom out just a little bit so in the event that I want to work on a course I can just move these uh, the locator back here to 24 and I can still see everything so you want to do that so getting back to the uh, bars so say I just want to edit this or I just want to kind of duplicate this if I have this set to bar and I have my magnet locked or snap to grid it'll basically select the full the full bar so I can either select that half a bar or I can set, select the full beat um, if you go down and you check on half basically what this does is it allows you to get a little you know get more uh, accurate with it and once you play around with you see you'll see I can start right here and automatically jumps to the end so I can select half of that bar let's uh, move it back up to bar right now I'm gonna try to select just half of that uh, that beat and it won't allow me to you see it moves out to the whole thing so that's what that controls and this turns it on and off so once it's off I can select three notes two notes it doesn't really matter let's turn that back on um, I keep mine on bar only time I change it is if I need it and that keep it on bar it makes life a lot simpler and right here you have your um, basically what you want to run is you want to uh, what you want your notes quantized to and quantization just basically means if you play off tempo it'll basically correct it for you it won't make it perfect but it'll correct it and it'll put in, put it in time so you have quarter notes eighth notes on uh, eighth triplets 16 16 triplets and so on I keep mine at 1 16th I work in 16th note that basically keeps everything the way I want to and for hip hop you'll notice that you will be using uh, the 32 you'll be using 32's but for the most part you're gonna keep everything in 16th and this is how much do you want to quantize it by so you it actually works on a percentage basis if you want a hundred percent to everything to fall on the 16th you can choose that if you want to do songs with a little more swing to it you can just use 75 percent and it won't lock everything precisely to a 16th and it'll give it a it only locks it 75 percent of the way and to activate the uh, to make sure you activate this and keep it on you just want to click on it and make sure it looks like it's pressed in okay and let me give you an example kind of how this works so we'll set this back at 100 I'm gonna turn the quantize off and I'm just gonna play something random with this uh, double NXT just to demonstrate how that works so we have our metronome going okay so I just played a bunch of random stuff and when you play it let's see uh, how in time it is compared to the metronome okay well, let's say I played that off and I want to quantize it basically to a 16. I turn the quantize on, I select the stuff that I want to play to the 16th, and I click this little button and I want it at 100%. You see how the notes just automatically move? Now it's going to play things only in 1 16th. So. so you only get the 16 notes. You only get the 16 notes, and you can play anything. You can play stuff at 16, try to trunc uh, truncate it down to a 32, and you'll get different eye uh, feels. But basically that's just what this down here does and as we start to work on more things you notice that things start to become uh, more apparent you can do you can switch over to edit mode edit mode which you don't really need right now but this is basically your keyboard feature so if you don't have a keyboard you can actually write notes in so like your pencil and you could just basically write notes in here and there um, and of course you just get all these other different features this is all the different notes and everything but that's more advanced stuff we'll get into that later but yeah this is your basically they call it a piano roll in most other programs on here it's just your arrange view you can arrange the music you can change notes say you played something out you can uh, say this is all wrong you want to shift it down to a different key you can just select it and move it down move it down and now you just change the key but you kept all the notes the same very simple very quick you definitely don't want to keep that as a template you want to have it just like this and you want to kind of actually keep this down a little bit so you have space to look at your rack and once you get this pretty much full and you want to start editing there's a unique button right here you just click on that and it makes it full screen again and that closes it again so that's pretty much all for the template so um, this is just a basic setup of the template of getting your measures getting your time getting your metronome and everything all set up so that it can work right